Hello, Death to All 238 here for the next part of how to play Sonic 06. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you a so-called glitch on his mock speed section on Wave Ocean. Um, this is my third time recording because of various issues. I'm just gonna end the recording now and pick up when I get to the mock speed section to speed this whole thing up. I want a, other things to record right now. Okay, so the glitch is right here at the beginning at this first jump. The problem is people are not running through it at high speeds. Or not, or at least not holding forward. If you don't, well you're not going to make it. Like so. I'm going to show you. Not holding forward, and dead. Now let's hold forward and show you. The light dash right there helps a lot. You got running at max speed. And then whee! Look at that. It's player error. And more not a glitch. Once again. Do it one more time. Three successful attempts. I screwed that word up. Also, another tip that helps with Sonic. When you're ouch. When you hold forward. When you're holding forward, at least. Oh yeah. He is much more easier to control when you hold forward. What? Something in the It's pretty much like boosting and unleashed in the other games. Not holding it, and he's all over the place. You hold it. He's much stable. So use that. I just found that out today actually too. Only four of those will gain speed. This game is not as broken as people like to make it sound. And done. A. Nope. A is 45. Okay, now it's Kingdom Valley. I'm going to end the recording again. And come back at Silver's section of Kingdom Valley. Okay, here we are at Silver. Some reason people have issues playing at him when he's one of the most simplest characters to play as. Ooh, faster. So, my general tips for Silver. This move right here is your best friend. You get it about halfway point in the game at Radical Train. No, wait, no, I take that back. You get it just before that at the quad or quad of phase. Uh, white Acropolis. You need to get through the gate. Just jump and hold it. With, with him and throwing the objects, you have to time your shots. You can't rapid fire or your accuracy would be horrible. And you gotta be careful of it bouncing off items. Also, it is very wise when throwing any kind of object to silver to be up in the air. Because, as you saw when I first started this part of the video, it bounced off the floor. Got it. But always jump up in the air when you do it. And then when it's him and his flying, same rules as tails. Tap the button. Don't hold it. Look at the area this done. A widespread attack. You can hit multiple enemies with it compared to this little close range attack. That's pretty much it for Silver. He's an easy character to use. Also, you don't have to hold the trigger to grab items. I thought that when I first played through the game, but not. You know, just push the button and he picks it up and holds on to it for as long as you want. Ooh, crap. 
Oh, that was close. Also, this little ability helps a lot when getting over those spikes or just to use a really great what the hell? Really great shortcut on aquatic bait. What is it? Oh, I'm so. Huh, didn't want to kill him. Whatever. It stunned him. You know what? I'm gonna try something real quick. Time to explore. More is experimentate. Here we go. Oh, it's a massive shortcut. Hey, nice. <laughs> I said through text during editing was that you can grab on mainly flat walls. And I said that. Oh, I'm just, what did I say? I can't remember. Pretty much walls with corners, like on Kingdom Valley here in Aquatic Base, you can't do. I'll show you exactly what I mean. What I mean by mainly flat walls is because the little pillars you can grab on and flame cores and knuckles ain't exactly flat, you can still grab them. But if it's a pretty sharp curve, you can't do it. Oh yeah, we're getting the whole day. You can hold A right here and gain speed. Pretty sure you better know that, it's pretty simple. I think the game even tells you the instruction book. Right? And to recap what I said about the stuck on wall glitch, it's the only way to get past it is to simply not grab on walls. Well only grab on walls that you can climb on top of basically pretty much the base of platforms, any kind of platform. Almost any kind of platform. The platforms that really are cursed is the ones in this part and aquatic base. Go! It looks like we need to find three spot right here. See how it's curved at the bottom? Actually I think she might be able to climb this one. No, she definitely will not. Yep, see? Mainly flat. You can't climb up that. That's what I mean by mainly. Oh, I'm kind of screwed now. It's sharp degree like that. Oh no! Ah! Aquatic bases like that. The rest of the levels... Actually, the only three treasure hunting style levels is this one. Aquatic base and... Um, is it flame core? Alright, I'm done here. Amy! The best advice I can give on Amy is use this ability and why she has Espio's camouflage ability I don't know but I'm not going to complain because it's very useful the un problem with it though is you got to be careful of that right there that will get you hit by enemy now she's also psychic anyway this is the best of her move. She's invisible, and you're dead. Oh yeah. Try to stay in the air when she uncloaks. Because you don't get stunned by it, obviously. Okay, so right here, this is my only little tip. Instead of waiting for these platforms, you can stand right here. This works for pretty much every character, but as a general warning, you can't stand here like this with every one of them. Some of them you have to keep running at the wall. The only thing I want I can count, think of at the top of my head right now is Omega. That just might be because he has big feet. But you can still do it. Okay, so here we are at the Billiards of Hell. So, how do you do this? You need to get a really, really good hit at the beginning. You gotta stand pretty far away. 
it's best to let it go on that little mound of dirt over here because it because then it slowly rolls over towards away from the hole over in front of me and if you look you can see this gap in between all these boxes that is a very good spot to try to hit the ball to you have to hit it good though because there are the holes, holes there that wasn't a very good hit here as you see but hit it towards the down of mound of dirt and then it'll roll over this way and it's just a bunch of minor adjustments uh, too far you gotta have a lot of patience with this part luck has a lot to do with it I might have hidden it too hard no actually I did pretty good But just kind of guide it along, let it follow. Stand on top of it if you need to stay close to it. But here's actually a good spot. But I am not close. That was weak and it's going in. Oh, nope, yep. They put this spot right here for a reason. You can try to lay it right there. In fact, that's the this set of squares is probably the best spot to aim for. The problem is, is being able to hit the ball and get distance so it can fly over each of these holes. Mainly only this one and the one at the end. Let it roll, uh, it's still kind of bad. But the boxes do help if you don't fling, fling the ball at them. At the same time, they can be bad. That might be bad. Yep, that's bad. It's this little pillar here that's the thing. Stupid and horizontal vertical. That's a good hit right there. But it hit the damn pillar. That was a nice hit. Let it roll. Actually, before I do anything, destroying these ones at the end might be a wise idea. I had bad luck with this. But getting a good hit at the beginning of this section will help you a lot. And it's slowly counting down. And I think that should be good, actually. Because then it just slowly rolls. I just barely made it there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I hope that helps. That's the best I can describe it. This trail right here. 
right here. Aim through this trail. Okay, they go through all the boxes. You want to jump through two holes. Over two holes. Or you can try moving your way around. You're gonna try to do that. Get the ball to land over here, because then it'll slowly roll over this way and kind of bounce off this wall. And then you can hit it over this way and bounce it off. Try to bounce it off this wall. Try to destroy those for safety. And then there you go. Just gotta be careful of this stupid pillar right here. Because it will knock it into the hole. But it's best not to rush through this section. You can also be cheap and there's a glitch here that I have no clue what it is, but you can glitch through this door or something and skip this section. If you really want to do that you can. But you just gotta have patience and know how to line up your shots. So, and I do believe anything under 15 minutes should guarantee you S, depending on how many enemies you attack along the way. Perfect. So, that ends this episode. This is a re-recording, so I already edited a bunch. I cut out a lot. So to try to recap, you gotta hold forward on the jump on Wave Ocean Spock Speed section, and he'll make it over the bridge every time. Holding forward with Son holding forward during the Mach Speed section makes Sonic run more stable. If you're not holding forward and you tap left and right, he all over the place. I showed you what I mean by mainly flat. The wall, the climb, the stuck on wall glitch. The wall curves up too much. You won't be able to climb it. <laughs> Let's see, what else did I do? Amy, silver. Oh yeah, another little tip for silver. You can grab the enemies that shoot the Vulcan cannon. You can grab their bullets. And use that to stop them from hitting you. But it does take away psychic energy. So you gotta be careful. But you can't throw the bullets back. It's just a way of protecting you. Use his so shock bracelet. I think in the next part I'll just go over how to attack each enemy, mainly the big guys, with Sonic, Shadow, and Silver. It's really not that difficult. Each character has two moves. That's good against them. So, next part will be whenever I feel like it. Thanks for watching. Hope the tips were good. Video's kind of cut up. I went straight to the point and everything. Later.